All right, so it's been trending all over social media. Talking about 14 year old rapper and influencer. You see her right here. She was believed to be dead yesterday after a statement was posted to her Instagram. And later yesterday, well, we had some reports that said the team's family provided a statement saying that she was alive and that her account was actually hacked. The report has not been confirmed just yet, but that is rapper Tay Lil Tay. Lil Tay. Lil Tay, just like that. Yeah. Uh, all right, so. That is interesting. Now on her YouTube page, in her bio, someone put help me or something like that. I'm really mm -hmm. not sure what that is. Now, we want to talk about this. There is some space tourism going around, and we want to show you this mm -hmm. story. It's really, really cool. Just take a look at these photos behind us. But space, I want to tell you about a story about it. One, release, release, release. This is the moment. <laughs> It all changed for these newly minted space voyagers. Not test pilots or trained astronauts, but ordinary people. We're in the vertical headed towards space. They rocketed at three times the speed of sound to an altitude of more than 50 miles and then zero G. Zero gravity felt like nothingness. It was the most peaceful, serene moment ever where everything just stopped. Natives of Antigua, Keisha Shahoff and her 18-year-old daughter, Anna, are not only the first mother and daughter duo to reach space, they're also the first female astronauts from the Caribbean. What do you hope little girls back on the island seeing this happen feel after seeing what you guys went through? I hope they feel invincible. Like, it's okay to dream. It's okay to have these crazy dreams. <laughs> And a hero's welcome for John Goodwin from his wife of 52 years. The former British Olympian who's battling Parkinson's disease bought his ticket back in 2005, waiting nearly two decades for this view. Even at 80 years of age with Parkinson's, I can do it. A 60-minute flight that for these trailblazing tourists will last a lifetime. It was so beautiful, just breathtaking, and I just felt this total connection. It's something so deep within yourself, like that feeling that you have in your heart when you just know that you love someone or something so truly. Much needed perspective from a spaceship called Unity. Gary Schwartz, NBC News, Upham, New Mexico. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. we wanted to keep that surprise for you. They want a trip to space. How my, cool is that? Micah, you know what? I tell you what, I love my mama. I would do anything for my mama, but I am not going up to space with that lady. We'll be arguing and fighting and the that entire time. Tight confined space. Tight confined space. They would find something to complain about. We argue when she come visit me in Texas. <laughs> so I'm like, go on to space. It's too no. hot in here. Why is it that? Girl, yes. I can't control it, mama. Just sit down no, and enjoy no, the ride. No. Look at Pluto over there. Mm -mm. Jordan, your mom <laughs> likes to travel a lot. You think she'll go to space with you? She hates airplanes, let alone oh, a rocket. Wow. Although that's more of a rocket plane. It's not yeah. technically, you know, a <laughs> rocket. I mean, it's suborbital flight, if you can even call it that. Oh, oh. now you, you lost me with all those technical terms. <laughs> well, my question is, though, do they actually reach the Kármán line? That's I the line that divides Kármán Earth and space. I didn't even know what that uh, was. Look, you okay. educated me at 5 o'clock in the morning. Just, That's Jordan, what I do. You just got to say it's hot. I can't, I can't <laughs> my brain go. can't take that. It's hot. Whether you're in space or not, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> we got the sun there. That's for sure.